Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff. Whoop. <laughs> Welcome to your reading. I was about to drop three cards. Okay, for Virgo. <laughs> Something about Sue. Okay. I don't know I'm saying mud. I don't know if you're watching those videos where someone like thoroughly cleans a carpet. You could be watching like certain guilty pleasure videos like ASMRs or like very specific videos right now. Wasp, revenge. I always get this for either you, Virgo, or Leo. <laughs> Goblin malice. That's seven of swords energy. And then ant cooperation. That's three of pentacles. There's someone who's like, they want revenge against you for not uh, cooperating with them. This could be family, friend, work, love. Goblin malice is like someone who... <sighs> And now, of course, I'm seeing a bug. There's a bug right here. I don't know what type of bug this is. Oh, I didn't mean to kill it. I didn't mean to kill it. <laughs> like, I either, I always get either spiders in here or like, um, you know, gnats. Because I keep like a cup of red wine on my altar. It could have been a gnat. <laughs> Seal vulnerability. I swear I did not mean to kill it, y'all. Like, I was trying to swat it away and I accidentally killed it. But I think it was a gnat extremely tiny little bug but anyway right after I say ant too that's wild but yeah there's someone here yeah with still vulnerability they're mad I see someone licking an envelope there's someone who's mad because you just you're not working with them anymore but I feel like when you tried to work with this person they were impossible to work with like they did this on purpose they made it impossible for you to work with them Funny truth. You've seen the truth about the situation with Wasp Revenge. I don't know why they're trying to take revenge against you. It's like they've been plotting this revenge for a long ass time too. <laughs> Three heartache and loss. It's like this person could have set out to purposefully break your heart. So like say for instance you were dating this person or you were friends with this person. They purposefully betrayed you and they sat back to watch and see how you reacted and you just moved on. And so it's like this person waited for a reaction from you. You did not give them the reaction they wanted. Yes, yeah, 17 hope because you had hope for your future to move forward. Maybe at one point you had hope that you two could work things out. This person knew when you were um, involved with them. Because I'm seeing for some of you, it's family, friend, work, or love. You know, it's different for everyone. But when you were involved with this person, this person knew that you had hope that you two could cooperate. And so they purposefully spited you. They purposefully disappointed you, hurt you, and let you down. And they sat back and watched to see how you would react. Overall energy is nine, spiritual strength. Yeah, you just moved forward. <laughs> Six, harmony. Yeah, you just moved forward. You didn't retaliate. This person expected that, though. They expected you to, like, try to fight back and retaliate, get revenge. But because this person wants revenge because you didn't seek revenge on them. Isn't that wild? <laughs> you just moved on with your life. Something about an email or a literal mail for some of you. Community, family, friend, work, love. Pathway, yeah, you just found a different pathway. You just went a different way. You didn't try to seek any type of retaliation. You just moved on. Message of concern. You're definitely going to get a message, whether it's a text, call, email, um, a, a literal message in the mail. You're going to get a, a, a message journey of someone wanting to come see you or wanting you to come see them or something like that. 19 coffin. It could, for some of you, not all of you, you could be, uh, there could be a funeral, toil and labor, or an ending of a contract, official person, adjudication, sudden wealth. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let me move this down. Earth signs got a lot going on. Official person. I'm seeing that as you. Could be dealing with someone else, but hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm hearing like a decorative, a decorated person. Like with the official person, this is someone in a high ranking position who's worked their ass off to get there. Judication. Sun wealth. Imprisonment. High honor. Okay, bad health, unexpected income. All right, overall energy is child. For some of you, there's children involved. But for those of you who there's no, like where there's no children involved, this is just like a new beginning or something in its beginning stages. Like kind of a trust fund in a sense, but like with sudden wealth and unexpected income, I feel like there's all of a sudden money coming towards you, Virgo, that you did not expect to get. You, yeah, with unexpected income, you did not expect to get this. But there's like a, a high ranking person who made it like it was court ordered. Like if anything happens to me, I want Virgo to get this money. Because I feel like you get a message from a family member or someone who considers you family that they're sick or that something is happening. It, it doesn't have to be literal bad health. But it, it's just something that's going on with this person and they requested you to come. And they want you to handle everything. And when it comes down to it with adjudication, it's like some way, somehow you end up getting a payout. And it, it gets you out of something. Maybe like, for instance, this person's like, well, Virgo, I want you to handle this. And you're like, I can't. I, I have bills to pay. I have to go to work. And they're like, all right, well, I'll give you um a month's wages. And you're like, all right, bet. I'll come. <laughs> hey, look, because it's like you want to help, but you can't miss out on paying your bills. And this person's like, all right, I'll do that for you. I'll take care of that for you. Or because you help them, they leave you some amount of money. Like this person is paying you to help them. I heard investigative, so I don't know if like you're investigating something for them. I just know this person trusts you with their finances. They trust you. Cat. That could be someone's nickname. Animal. There's definitely a Leo element to this. You have cat and then you have animal. Both have like a cat on it. The Leo element here. Trap. Ice. Someone wants to like force you to work with them. I keep getting that undertone for every Virgo reading I've been doing for the past few weeks or months. Like someone is trying to force you to work with them. And it's like they low key know you won't do it willingly. So they're trying to put all these things in your path. You may want to watch the movie either. You want to watch the movie Get Out or you want to watch The Thing. You have dance here. Fertility, that's Empress Libra Taurus energy. You could be ordering takeout. You should, Virgo. I feel like Virgo's The Woods, The Blair Witch uh, Project. Y'all have been cooking for yourselves, and if that's truly what you want to do, do it. But if you've been tired, because I feel like you're going to have to travel to help someone. You got this, like, big thing coming up where someone wants you to help them. It's best that you order some takeout. Don't stress yourself out further than you need to, because you seem to have a lot going on, Virgo. <laughs> Fertility, Libra Taurus, or a, a parental figure here, combination. Yeah, definitely, like... With fertility in combination, that's a child. So you could, like, this could be a parent to you. Like, either you're the child here. Like, this is your parent or your elder. 
whether it's literally blood wives or me, like they just trust you hunger neighbors this is definitely family and just or people consider family earth there you are yeah face i feel i need to pull this mm. over energy's mask you want to watch the capricorn reading they had that same overall energy hmm Someone wants to seal the deal with you before they pass or something ends. It's like they want to leave you in charge of something. They want to sign everything over to you or with you. They want you to help them handle their final like paperwork, whether it's their passing or like them leaving a job or something. They want you to help them finalize something. Virgo. You are definitely watching a lot of like guilty pleasure videos. I feel like when you're stressed, you watch like cooking videos or something. Sharks, move away from the situation. Yep. Gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. You're getting, you're leaving a toxic community. Like maybe you have people close to you, family, friend, worker, love that are like trying to zap you from growing. And no shade, like no judgment to anyone because everyone's on a different side of this. But I feel like you may have dreams of pursuing some type of lifestyle, career goal, but someone's like, no, settle down, get married, have kids, don't do shit. <laughs> and if you want to settle down, get married, have kids and don't do nothing else, that's fine. But I feel like you have some type of goal in mind career wise that someone wants to take away from you or that's saying that you you shouldn't do that. And you could have kids and still get married and still pursue your dreams. You could do all that, but someone does not want you to do that. They just want to stunt your growth. Thorns, we get together with a crown you deserve. Because I feel like there's a there's a situation that's like, damn, it's like not healthy for you. I'll just say that. Feather, think first before you judge. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. There is someone who wants to work with you to help you get away from, yeah, with revenge and malice, three of pentacles, this is a nasty energy, nasty ass energy. These people got the nerve to wanna force you to work with them. It's either because you refuse to work with them, they wanna seek revenge, but it's even if you decided to work with them, they would have sabotaged you. So it's a lose-lose situation if you decided to work with them or not. Wings, you never needed those wings to fly. Someone is like, you have to have a baby with the person, get someone pregnant or have a baby with this person in order to succeed or be happy or be successful. I'll cut the deck and see which justice is coming. This is messy as fuck. Uh, garden, something lovely will grow from this. Yeah, combinations like someone's like, yeah, you have a baby, you'll be set or you'll be happy. Or if you have a baby with a particular person, villain, you can always rewrite the story. Whether you've already had kids with this person or not, someone wants you to think that you're stuck, you're trapped, you're not whether you have kids or not. Like, you can still get married, have kids, have a family, and do all those things and still pursue your dream. I've seen it. <laughs> it's 2024. Tree, let them go. Yeah, let that person. Lavender, surround yourself with love. Somebody want to go? Let them go. <laughs> Escapist, come home to yourself. That's for you. Go on right over earth and then feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. It's like someone did not want you to have the best of both worlds. Voyage, you already have all the answers. I feel like this reading is just confirmation for you, Virgo. Whether you have kids or not, or want to or not, or get married or not, doesn't matter. Someone does not want you to pursue some type of goal you have. Whether it's having kids or having this career or having both. Someone is trying to convince you that you can only do one. Especially like, yeah, they're trying to convince you that you can't go after this career. Someone wants you to feel stuck and trapped. But I feel like you have a, par a person outside of that. You have this one person or group that wants you to feel trapped. And then you have this other person here who is like, whether purposefully letting you know or indirectly showing you that you can do all those things. 
But either way, you realize that you can go after the things that you want. And it sucks that you have to let go of people you thought you could trust, but it is what it is. You're seeing people's true colors. I'm hearing that song, Beautiful Disaster. I forgot who... I forgot who made that song, but I'm seeing the guitar, the guitar hero version of a beautiful disaster, Virgo. Yeah, eight cups, you end up walking away from a situation where there's family framework or love that's not healthy for you, Eight of Cups. You, know, you walk away from a collaboration or someone who's trying to work things out with you, you walk away. Wheel of Fortune, you move on to a new beginning, a new cycle. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Tower, Aries. That's a, a tower for someone. <laughs> Star, I feel like you walking away from trying to work things out with someone puts you in the spotlight. All of a sudden you blow up because you walk away from someone or you decline to work with someone. Ten of Cups. Family. Ten of Wands. You walking away from like working things out with someone all of a sudden sends you in this like stardom energy or like at the center of everything type of energy and it's like you end up handling all you handle all these responsibilities six of pentacles strength leo queen of cups the moon definitely cancer pisces leo Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, and Nine of Pentacles. There you are, Virgo. Judgment, Knight of Cups. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Judgment, Knight, and uh, Knight of Cups. Overall, energy is the Seven of Swords. You having to keep information to yourself. With the Seven of Swords, it's also Aquarius. Specifically, Aquarius Moon, but Aquarius energy nonetheless. Your key element, one of your main key elements here is to keep things to yourself. Secrecy is your best weapon here, Virgo. You have, I'm going to clarify, but you have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Of course, Virgo with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, you walked away, like I said in the beginning, because you could tell someone was vengeful and spiteful. But, I mean, come on, you have goblin malice. This card alone is like, this person's oozing with bitterness. Then you have revenge. It's like, it's like someone's trying to get revenge against you by collaborating with you to sabotage you, or they're trying to use you to get revenge on someone else. Either way, their bitterness is oozing from them. So, you're like, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, you walk away from working with working things out with someone. And then you move and that puts you in this new cycle. Because I feel like, yeah, someone wanted to put you back in a cycle, a repeated cycle of like a tower. Someone wanted to put you with the wheel of force in the tower, repeated tower. But you get out of that. Someone didn't expect you to like come out of a cycle. That's a shock to someone that causes someone a tower that you're walking away and healing the star. Because this person is more trouble than they're worth. They are more trouble than they're worth. And they can call you egotistical for that, but they are. They're more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're investing in things that give back to you equally. Six of Pentacles and strength, and you're sticking by that. You have these new morals and integrity that you're, that you're sticking by. And with the Queen of Cups and the Moon, you're trusting your intuition, and it's strong. And with the Eight of Wands, that leads you to a lot of forward movement and success. A lot of people wanting to patronize you, your business. Nine of Pentacles, you being financially independent and just independent in general, calling judgment on a situation. So let's clarify. Lots of offers here. 
and apologies, but you can see right through. It's like someone thinks they're wearing a mask, but to you, you see right through it. It's like this person's not even hiding anything to you. They think they're, they're hidden, but to you, it's laughable. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, walking away creates balance for you. Three of Wands. Someone you walked away from or that walked away from you is expecting you. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles is a cherry. Yeah, you moved on. Cancer energy. Knight of Pentacles. You could have moved on to work with someone else. Whether it's family, friend, work, love, you could have left a romantic partnership to work with a friend or a new job or whatever. You know, it's different for everyone. But either way, you walked away from a situation to go work with someone else. Someone who respects you as an equal. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the tower. Yeah, someone is really shocked that you've moved on. <laughs> And again, it could be you leaving a lover to go to another lover, or it could be you leaving a lover and moving on to focus on your career and collaborate with other people. Either way, someone is shocked that you've moved on, like that you're serious about moving on and that you're just working things out with other people and collaborating with other people and doing other shit. So this is like an ex scene. You make new friends, get a new job, put out new things, and it's like they're shocked. Yeah. You're moving on to a new cycle where you're only investing in things that give back to you and that in this cycle, everything you invest in is giving back to you. You're moving into a new karmic cycle of like good karma. Someone can see that you're in a cycle of good karma because you're refusing to settle for the bullshit. Yeah, the lover, Gemini, the choice is clarifying the tower. It's causing someone a tower that you made a choice to, you chose yourself, Queen of Wands. Someone is shocked that you chose yourself. I cut the deck and see the devil. Someone thought you were stuck on them. Page of Swords, clarifying the star. Yeah, you've learned a lot. Some of you could literally be in the spotlight. Of course, that's not for everyone. Either way, you've healed. Ten of Swords, clarifying the star. You've healed from multiple betrayals. And someone can see that. Page of Swords, someone is spying and seeing you heal from everything you've been through. Clarifying the Ten of Cups is the Nine of Pentacles and you're independent of family. Maybe this person tried to hold over your head having a happy family or happily ever after. And this person realized that they can no longer hold that over your head because you've become independent of it. Whether it's your family or love, someone was trying to hold the Ten of Cups over your head, but you're in the Nine of Pentacles. So that no longer works. Like maybe in the past, the person used to be like, well, that's why you can't have this because you don't act like that. You don't act like a real man or a real woman or a real wife, whatever. <laughs> someone tried to criticize you and say, basically say you're not good enough, but it doesn't work on you because you're the Nine of Pentacles. So you don't need this person. Clarifying the Ten of Wands is the Seven of Wands. You're not allowing anyone to place more obligation or responsibility on you than necessary. Seven of Wands, you have boundaries. You take, it's like Six of Pentacles. You take your fair share, but you're not taking any more than your fair share. So if someone tries you with any more than the Six of Pentacles, you're like, no, nah, I'm good, bitch. You can <laughs> stay or go. I don't care, but you're not taking advantage of me. Page of Pentacles energy. Yeah, no. You're not accepting the bare minimum. It's like this person wants you to do all nine pentacles and while they do the, the page, nah. It's all or nothing. Ace of Cups, clarifying the Six of Pentacles, exactly. The only way anyone could get it, like, like you're not even emotionally or mentally invested or triggered or enticed by anyone who gives you less than the Six of Pentacles. It's either equal or nothing. Anything less than the Six of Pentacles for you, equal give and take, you're not even attracted to. Yeah, King of Swords, this is the energy you're giving off, Virgo. You're not playing, you're not wasting your time and you're not allowing anyone else to waste it. Ace of Pentacles with the Strength card. You have the Ace of Cups and Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here. Doesn't matter what your gender is. 
You're just in your power, strength, and people can call you egotistical, whatever. You're just not being taken advantage of. And you're not trying to take advantage of anyone else either. You're just like equal give and take or I'm, I'm done. Like I'm not wasting another second on you. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, exact. I mean, sorry, Six of Cups. Trusting your intuition, soulmate energy, Ace of Wands. We have three Aces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Be careful if you don't want children. I'm going to just leave it at that. All right, we have King of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have Temperance, so I just fell out of my hand, Sagittarius. Clarifying the moon. So there's a uh, Sagittarius placement in the background who's got emotion for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius placement in the background who has emotion for you. Clarifying the Eight of Wands is the Queen of Swords. I heard some, someone say I'm Ray Charles to the bullshit. You're just not, you're not feeding into it. It's best that you don't feed into the drama. So you have three of wands, three of pentacles, three of cups. Clarifying the eight of wands. There is um, a sign. I mean, there's multiple different signs here, obviously. We got air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We got fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be any sign. But there's someone who wants to, who keeps messaging you, calling you, texting you, emailing you, sending you something, who wants to reconcile with you. Clarifying the nine of pentacles is the five of cups. You, you don't want nothing to do with your past though. So it's just, yeah, hey man, you sacrificed it. You don't want nothing to do with your past, whether it's family, friend, work, or love. So whoever is trying to basically force you and harass you into taking them back, whether it's family, friend, work, or love, you're not doing it. Clarifying judgment is the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're deciding to move forward. You already called judgment on the situation. Empress energy, Libra Taurus. Clarifying the knight of cups. You're not taking no, this person's apology. Emperor Aries. Yeah, you're moving forward. You either are moving forward with an Emperor Aries father figure or that's who you're leaving behind. Five of Wands. Now you have people competing for this. Good Lord. Basically, you see your worth and you're moving forward to bigger and better things, especially financially. And and you have family, friend, work, love. They're, they're fighting to come with you. <laughs> Virgo. It's going to show up differently for everyone, but with the Nine of Pentacles here twice, you're reaching major success and independence. Productivity, exactly. Definitely making a huge financial growth decision here. Duality, and you're only accepting people on your level. You have the Emperor and the Empress here. So whether or not you've met your divine counterpart or soulmate, whatever you want to call it, whether or not you've met your person yet, you're going to. I feel like some of you already have, others of you will. Emperor and Empress is right here. You've got an ex who wish they stayed or family, friends who wish they stayed around. Abundance, that's what you're going towards. Affection, agreement, new contracts, longevity, a business that's going to outlive you. Wisdom. Victory and overall energy is focus. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.